And what is important for me to share on the platform All Hands on Deck is uh, due to this COVID situation, all the, the economy and uh, the working place have shifted so much. Having kids just after university or just starting their um, uh, business life, for me it was so important to offer them a session with Dida just for them to know that they are on the right track. So before Dida is going to tell us about uh, the experience she had and uh, the approach which is so important towards the young generation to really trigger the best potential your children, your teenage, your uh, young adults can develop with the help of a coach like Dida. Yes, indeed, uh, the teenagers are, are the best target. I like, I like coaching them because it's, they are at the dawn of their, uh, of their life, of their uh, adulthood, you <coughs> know. But let me tell you something because um, I have an example in mind. I, I can say that the worst thing is when people act to please uh, people around us, ignoring their proper needs, you know? Mm -hmm. And I have an example about teenagers, uh, because at this age, you know, they don't know what they want uh, to do with their life. They are vulnerable, they are influenceable, some of them. So at this age of instability, they encourage, interfere to advise them from the best, for their best benefits. But the problem is, at a subconscious level, some parents transfer their dreams on their children. So they push them in a direction that doesn't match who they are. Exactly. You know that. Yeah, yeah. Because you are a teenager. Oh my God. Their yeah, personality, yeah. They, we, they ignore their personality. In our generation, it was what you want to do. You want to be business, you want to do. Uh, uh, you want to be a lawyer or you want to do, uh, you know, <laughs> but there is some people, we are artists, we are musicians. I mean, we can really, yeah, it's very important I, points. It's, it's, it's very important to respect their personality, their values and their need and their passion, <coughs> because this is how they will direct their, their future. Yeah. This I is what my kids uh, notice with you. Huh? They could, you could trigger exactly what is their passion, what they want to become. And then we work from their passion, their potential, and their dream. Because this is how, what is motivating <coughs> you, you know? If you, don't, if you don't have dreams, you just follow um, like a matrix or you follow just one way. Yeah. And you, you, you close yourself from other possibilities, yes. which is a pity. Yes, yes. And so back to this teenager, most of them, they will get involved in long and boring studies to become engineer or, uh, for example, business uh, manager, knowing that it's far from their passion. But because their parents, their entourage, guide them in th this direction, they will follow it yeah. because they don't know who they are for the moment. So after these laborious studies, they will be trapped in a company for many years and they will exchange their happiness against a good salary. That's what happened. Maybe the other generation, because our yes. teenagers know. They are more aware. They're more aware <coughs> and they don't want to be trapped in a company. Yeah. The problem is, what I'm saying, is that uh, working for money and not for passion will kill people from inside. Yes. And that's why I see some people coming to my coach From high uh, position yes, and all, but position. unhappy. They have a lot of money, <coughs> I can say that. They have a lot, lot of money, yeah. but th something is, they're not fire inside yeah, of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. And it's a pity. Yeah. And I say, but do you know who you are? Yes. What is your passion? What is this fire burning in, in, your su in, your, in yourself? Yes. And most of them, they, they ignore it, you know, because they were in one way as they are formatted to go. Yeah.